Hey Pony Pals, it's Emma from Paint Pony Studios and I thought I would go over our Briarfest haul with you guys. Now this is going to be um, everything that we picked up at Briarfest for the most part, um, including pickups and stuff that we won when we were down there. Um, so I'll just give you a little bit of a tour of everybody and yeah, so this is our Briarfest lot. I'm gonna start out over on this side um, of the table. Um, if you guys are wondering if anything is for sale, the answer is yes. You can find the items that are for sale up on our website, um, paintponystudios.weebly.com. I should have it up on the screen. Um, but here we go. Let's start with Nazrudin, the Celebration Horse. Now, for those of you guys who have seen the other Briarfest videos, um, you've already seen a Nazrudin out of the box. He is very, very pretty. I like his coloring. The horse in real life has beautiful coloring as well. And actually, from what I've heard, this guy is actually bigger than the other Marwari molds. Um, I wouldn't know, I haven't had any other Marwari molds, but apparently he is bigger. Now in the cardboard right here, this is Marigold. She was a um, pop-up, or he, sorry, was a pop-up tent special. And as you can see, he's got beautiful henna designs all over the pink and gold and actually clear, clear wear. Absolutely stunning. I did not take him all the way out of the box, um, but this one I will take all the way out so I can get some pictures of him outside in the sunlight so you guys can actually see right through him because clear wares are cool in light. Speaking of clear wares, we also have Navia. Um, at the point that I'm filming this, we have already sold two Navias, so we have two left, but I'll just give you a look at him. He's a beautiful clear wear. They did an excellent job on his Lotus hindquarter marks. He looks much better than I actually thought he would. Um, I was expecting something that was a lot uh, darker green and I'm glad we didn't get a dark green. I'm glad this is how he looks. And they come in this beautiful little purple pink bag that says Navia right on it. Now this girl right here is the um, Elegance Collection. Madiri, and she is a working cow horse Bobby Joe, and I believe these are actually made of glass, and she is stunning. You guys probably cannot see a lot of her details because she is totally see-through, um, but she is on Morgan Kilborn's working, working cow horse mare or Bobby Joe, and she is fantastic, and I'll see if I can get some better pictures of her out in the light too. Moving on down the table, this is my little stone chip from the um, Stone Age Live show. Funny story about how we got her, I believe it's in the video, but if you haven't seen that one, um, she is a little prize from one of the fun contests that Amy likes to do during the, during the stone shows. So I happen to be able to say what the largest lake in the US is named, and it's Lake Superior, so I ended up with this little girl. Now these, I did not do the 5K, but my parents did, and these are the medals that they were given at the 5K. Everybody who walked or ran got a medal, and they are beautiful. I'll give you guys a little up-close look. All the details, and they're so shiny and sparkly. That Marwari in the center is just gorgeous. So these belong to my parents. Um, but they are super cool, and I should have footage from the 5K in Sunday's Briarfest video. For those of you who have watched, um, I believe this guy is in the Thursday night video, uh, day one. But this is the t-shirt model. Actually, he might be in day two. <laughs> Everything's a little bit of a blur when it comes to editing, but I know we picked this guy up Thursday night. Randy happened to catch my mom with a t-shirt on and she picked out this gorgeous boy who is a stone saddlebred, red jasper colored, which was their t-shirt theme for this year was red jasper. And he's a little bit similar to my horse from last year, my t-shirt horse, uh, my gold guy. They have the same face marking for the most part, um, the snip and the star, but he is stunning. And I'm glad she finally got a stone decorator because she didn't have one up until this point. Instead of going directly sideways, I'm just going to go backwards. This is Indu. And I happen to get a glossy Indu. As you can see, he is super shiny. And I have decided to name mine Bishop. I've taken to naming these um, 
Valegros after chess pieces or D&D characters, like D&D classes. Um, my Acadia's name is actually Paladin. So this is Bishop, and he is going to go with Paladin. And then I'm also working on a custom Valegro whose name is probably going to end up being Rook. Um, this is Kali. We ended up with three Kalis. There's two back there. But this is my personal Kali. And she has some interesting Ravicano markings that almost give her a little bit of a blue-black shading because of how far up they went. So I picked her because I absolutely love that. She's got real clean markings. Even her tail is nice and clean, and so is her face. But Kali and Indu are probably my two favorite special runs this year. And then there's Saffron! And I did not expect to like Saffron, but here we are, and I'm keeping a Saffron. He is gorgeous as well. I, I was hoping for the matte version, which I got. Um, I'm looking for a tack set so I can actually show him performance, but I will pick him up for you. Our Saffrons look totally different. Uh, we did get two. There's this guy who is really, um, he's the darker version. And I mean darker as in like more gold. Um, he does also have uh, much, uh, much more pronounced dapples than the other version. But I like this guy's face simply because he has just a slight bit of pinking on his nose instead of um, the other saffron as you can see has a lot of pinking on his nose it's not unrealistic but i just happen to like this guy better and i also kind of like the darker color up over the head and neck better as well but i am hanging on to this guy and he's going to be a performance horse of mine hopefully when i start getting into performance now this is holly as you guys have probably seen the video with her in it already i took the darker variation of the elephant and she's even got some little freckles. Let's get in on those freckles. But my Holly's name is Zitka, which is a reference to um, the Nightwing comics and Dick Grayson. There was a um, elephant in Haley's circus whose name was Zitka. And so that's why I, what I decided I would name her. Next is my little trophy model. And I did find out who painted these girls. It was Audrey Dixon of Wild Horse Studios. So really good job, Audrey, and thank you so much for giving me exactly what I wanted in a Stone Era baby because I was pretty much gonna order a design horse exactly like this. I'm in love with red chestnuts and pintos and Tobiano pintos with little cat tracks especially, so thank you for saving me that because she's stunning. I'm gonna move on to these little guys over here, these three on the bubble wrap are from the stone dinner. Both my mom and dad each ended up with an Appaloosa. So now they both have an Appaloosa. One of them, I believe this is my mother's and his name is going to be Duck Duck. Just like the little pony over there that I showed you guys earlier, her name is going to be Potbelly. I call her Pig. And then this is Lucy Goosey or Goose. Um, so then we, and then last year we came home with a white rabbit, so we have rabbit, duck, goose, and pig. So now we're going to look for chicken. We're on the hunt for chicken. So the next stone uh, chip we buy is probably going to be named chicken. So then this guy, this beautiful Palomino Roan, is my mother's big purchase of Briarfest, and his name is Mac and Cheese. Or that was the original run's name. His name is actually going to be, um, he's a good noodle. Um, he's painted by Shelby from the Stone Factory. Shout out to Shelby because my mom also has a, a weanling painted by her as well, but he is just stunning. She does a great job on her horses. I really like his little pink snoot. Um, the curved tail, the just the placement of the markings, he is absolutely gorgeous. And I know uh, my mom can't wait to get a performance set for him as well. Next up, and I did a little bit of a review on him in one of the Briarfest videos, but this is Vahana. And this Vahana, our only Vahana we came back with, is already spoken for. He's simply gorgeous. So Rachel, if you're watching this, Rachel's one of our 4-H kids, and this guy belongs to her. And so she's going to be one of the only people up here, if not the only person up here, um, with a Vahana. So I can't wait to see him in the show ring, Rachel. He's going to go really far. And moving on to the back row, here's our two Kali's and a Saffron. Um, not much different than the two that I showed you up there. 
But then here is the cow from this year. This is our animal run from this year. And her name is Diwali. And she's simply adorable. And I'm kind of bumming that I didn't get one of these for myself, but I don't really collect the animals. You know, the elephant's a bit of an exception. Um, but I don't know if you can hear it, but the bell does ring. Uh, there's a little clapper in there, so the bell does ring. And she is chalky, not, not to mention glossy. So if you guys are unaware of what chalky means, chalky is when a model has a white base coat under the paint. So they're not just painting a bare plastic, they're actually painting on a base coat. So that's pretty cool. And moving along, um, if you guys saw the video from Friday night, I believe, you would, you would have seen Lady Liberty already. And I'll have to get some pictures of these guys all outside because it is absolutely gorgeous today and I have my camera. But this was one of my purchases at the Chin from Thursday night. I found her for 90 bucks, and I was not leaving her behind. Um, if you guys follow the Instagram, you'd know that I already have a Ringmaster from Briarfest 2006. So I figured I would get myself a rain to match him, and she just happened to fit the bill, and she is gorgeous. Moving on to all of our resin purchases from the weekend. Um, these two are mine, personally, and this is Persia and Bihar, and I don't, that's not what they're going to be named um, when they're painted, but that's what the molds are named. And these are sculpted by Kathy Bogucki. Now I got these two for $300, including the little Persian rug, and they're going to be my personal pieces. I am keeping these two, but I would also like to know what you guys want to see them painted like, because I don't really have an idea yet. Um, just a little hint, I love Rabicanos, I love chestnuts, um, but I'd like to make sure that these guys are realistic Arabians because I want to do them justice and I would like to maybe do a performance scene with them in the future as actual um, Arabians. But they are adorable. I love Persia and I love the little spindly legs on Bihar. So I'm really excited to paint them, but yeah, I need some color suggestions. So if you guys have color suggestions for these two, put them in the comments below. I'd love to know what you guys think. Moving on to everything that will be a sales piece over here. These two are Kathleen Moody resins. They're two little babies with their heads tucked up onto their backs. And it's a, it's a Kathleen Moody sculpt from 2007. And these little guys are really cute. So if you'd like one of these painted, my books open up in September. Otherwise, they will become sales pieces. Same with Landslide over here. She is a gorgeous reigning quarter horse mare. Really big, powerful quarter horse mare, too. And she is just stunning. Like, I love all the muscling. Shanta resins end up with so much detail in them. But for right now, I don't have any ideas for her uh, at the moment. Um, so she is technically up for commission if you guys are interested. The prices on my website right now are not accurate. I actually did have to readjust my prices. Um, but my books open up in September. So if you guys want to get on my commissions list, let me know. The last guy, and I might have to take him off his base in order to show him to you guys, is Alejandro. So hold on just a second let me get him off the base. Okay, I have him off his base. As you can see, he's in there on these two little resin, like, tubes. Um, so he is, he, he's in there pretty tight, but just in case, um, because he, he can't come up pretty easily sometimes, I wanted to pick him up without the base and show you guys. Um, but I do have a plan already for him. Uh, he will be one of my favorite horse colors ever, and one of my favorite horse colors to paint. Which, I may have mentioned that in a video already, but I'm not sure. So if you guys can guess at what color Alejandro is going to be, um, leave that in the comments below and I will show you if you are correct when I get him finished. But he is one of my favorite Shanta resins, so I'm really, really happy about this purchase. And no, I won't be keeping him. He will be a sales piece. So look out for him in the future. So there you have it, everybody. There's our 2017 Briarfest loot. If you guys are looking for anything specific, um, check out the website to see what's available because quantities on these guys are limited and they will go fast. Um, also, I did not put them in the video because I don't feel like unwrapping them currently, but we do have two surprise horses. Um, they're both the Bay Tobiano Pinto, who in my opinion is probably my favorite. I think he's the prettiest one out of the bunch. Um, but we do have those for sale too and they're not up on the website yet because I do not have pictures of them. 
but if you would like one of them, feel free to email me and let me know, just paintponystudios at gmail.com. You can also contact me directly through the website via our contact page. But for now, Pony Pals, don't forget to give this video a like if you like seeing all the horses. Um, comment and tell me what your favorite special run is, or even tell me what your favorite purchase at Briarfest was, or your favorite one of my purchases at Briarfest. But definitely interact with us. I love hearing you guys. I love hearing your feedback. I love just, you guys are an awesome community, and I'm so thankful that you've helped us get to where we are today. So until next time, Pony Pals, bye. It took me an hour to find this guy. Like an hour. Just an hour looking for this guy. And he was just on the floor. Just on the floor? Like who put him